How do you organize your things? Do you jam your school supplies randomly in your locker, like clothes in a poorly packed suitcase? I mean, you could organize them by color. Ah, that's pretty. But uh, maybe not so useful when you need to find your chemistry notebook, huh? See, grouping them by subject, like books in a library, makes finding what you're looking for easier. Scientists like to organize things too, those smarty pants. Like you, they look for patterns. No, not like that. Patterns they can use to put things into groups, like grouping minerals by the appearance of their crystals, or grouping butterflies by their size, color, and species. What about elements? Every single element we know is organized in the periodic table. Scientists could have arranged them alphabetically, but they found a system that's more useful, arranging them in patterns by their chemical reactivity. It turns out many elements react similarly because they share a similar pattern in their atomic structure. In this unit, you'll learn about the inner workings of atoms and how they affect an element's properties. You'll take a voyage across the periodic table and see how its patterns can help describe any element out there. So get ready for your trip, but maybe go easy on the heavier elements. <laughs>